Welcome back. Do remember, all our top stories can be found on our website, channelstv.com, and on youtube.com forward slash channels web. Log on to m.channelstv.com to see us live on your mobile device. You can also download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS, and Windows phones from their respective stores. Besides the news and updates, the Channels TV app has an eyewitness feature. We encourage you to use it to share those pictures, videos, or news of happenings around you. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu and follow the instructions. To the South-South, the Bielsa State Police Command have issued a statement intimating the general public of the detention of a sergeant who mistakenly killed a minor in the line of duty. The unfortunate incident took place in Yanagoa when policemen from the Special Anti-Robbery Squad responded to a distress call of an ongoing cult attack. The command headquarters re revealed that the policemen were am ambushed by the cultists and consequently a police surgeon fired a shot, the bullet ricocheted and injured three persons who were unfortunately not amongst the cultists. The statement issued by the police public relations officer says the victims were rushed to the Federal Medical Center in Agoa for treatment, but one of them later died. And also concerning law enforcement, this time to the Southeast and the Abia State Police Command have challenged the business community to assist the authorities in securing the state for business to thrive. The Commissioner of Police, Sadile Oyebade, was speaking during a meeting with business executives from the various sectors in Abia State. This will be the first since the assumption of office of the new Commissioner of Police. And also concerning the police, this time the outgoing Assistant Inspector General of Police in charge of Zone 5, Mr. Isaac A.K., has charged officers of the Nigerian Police Force to resist the temptation of corrupt practices in the discharge of their duties. He stated this in his address at a pulling out parade held in his honor at the Samuel Bermudia Stadium in Benin City, the Edo State capital. The former Commissioner of Police, Sondo State Special Anti-Robbery Squad, Abuja, retires from the Nigeria Police Force after attaining the mandatory age of 60. Officers of the Nigerian Police Force organized for a special march past at the Samuel Ubermudia Stadium in Benin City, the Edo State Capital. It's a pulling out parade for the outgoing Assistant Inspector General of Police in charge of Zone 5, Mr. Isaac A.K. Mr. A.K. leaves the police force after reaching the mandatory retirement age of 60. He offers counsel for those still in active service. I would like to advise the upcoming generation who are currently in service and those who will yet to be enlisted in later years to eschew unholy acts. The unhealthy practices of cutting corners that ultimately lead to dismissal and premature retirement. Every policeman should see himself as the first image maker. Even though the force has police officers appointed as public relations officers. This will serve as mitigation against corrupt tendencies and temptation. As no policeman of whatever rank is immune to temptation. There was time for remarks from close associates as well as colleagues. Everyone agrees that you possess a rare combination of vision, fairness and understanding, which are crucial qualities for an effective and efficient leader. The detailed attention they often paid to issues that were brought before him, his respect for constituted authority, and the general commitment to building the institution of the police force. Finally, it was time to escort the former Assistant Inspector General of Police in charge of Zone 5, Mr. Isaac A.K., out of the stadium as he goes into retirement after a commendable service with the Nigerian Police Force. To the armed forces now, the proposed Nigerian Navy University may soon be established in Akwaibom State in South-South Nigeria. 
The Chief of Naval Staff dropped a hint during a courtesy visit to the State Governor, Mr. Udom Emanuel, at the Government House in New York. The Chief of Naval Staff says the Navy has had a good working relationship with the state in the last 23 years and lauds the administration for giving out the Special Technical School to the command to establish an institution which will complement the Naval University as a campus. A faculty of engineering that I know probably this could be a multi-campus system because I'm quite aware the Navy is already establishing a main, main, main campus somewhere in Delta. Even if you want to make it a multi-campus system, they were requested for faculty of engineering in a barrack way so that we can actually partner more with you. Any kind, if you want to do marine engineering from the location of that school into the Atlantic Ocean, it's not up to 10 kilometers. So any kind of study you want to do, uh, from water to land, I think you can actually mix that very, very well. What is happening now is that as we're mounting pressure on the various maritime criminals, and those who vandalize oil and gas infrastructure. As we continue to mount pressure on them in other states, the tendency is for them to move to other areas where uh, perhaps they believe they can secure some safe haven. But I want to assure you that the Navy, together with the other security agencies, will continue to ensure that we provide no safe haven for them in any part of Nigeria. To the health sector in the southeast, the Imo State Government through the Imo Foundation have entered a partnership with the Tulsi Chanrai Foundation from India to begin free cataract eye surgery for indigents of Imo State. During the official flag off ceremony of the, of the event, the Imo State Governor Roger Sokorota says his administration remains committed to delivering quality health care to the people and his vision is that in a few years to come, the number of visually impaired will have been reduced to a bare minimum. He also urges the people of Imo State to take advantage of the free and laudable gesture so many who are blind can regain their sight. Please permit me also to thank the medical team. That Top I government functionaries and residents of Imo State gathered here for the official flag off of the Imo Eye Foundation in Uweri, the state capital. One may appreciate the bright day and colorful attire worn by those present. But those for whom they are gathered do not know the day's beauty, nor the variety of colors due to impaired vision. The end of their condition, however, begins today. We have over 80,000 blind people in Imo States. And we have over 10 million blind people in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. But like the two seats children have said, in partnership with them, in the next 15 years, there shall be no more blind person in the United With these words, the governor of the state flags off the program for free cataract and other eye surgeries for the less privileged in the state. But that's not all the foundation is about. Now what we're embarking on today is the uh, eye surgery. Um, cataract surgery and other eye related diseases but this is now free we're making we're the awareness so that people can come here for their free medical care even kidney here the different challenges different ailments this is not the first outing of the technical partners in Imo state we were here for about five to six years from 2005 to 2010 we already operated and gave eyesight to nearly 16,000 people up in Moscow. The Oweri Eye Center boasts modern equipment and surgeries have already begun here. The state government has also set up a trust fund to select those who qualify for treatment, namely the very sick and poor in the community. You're watching news across Nigeria. Coming up, cancer awareness in Cross River State. 